sellers say, I didn't sell my house. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I never sold my house. I don't know what you're talking about. Even though they signed the papers and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to Hash It Out. Today, I got a special guest with me. We're talking about everything title. I'll let Chris introduce himself. Chris. Hey, Chris Breck, one of the partners over at Charter Title. I'm um, really looking forward to this opportunity, man, to talk shop. I, look, I can't wait. I'm excited to have you on today. So let's just get right into it. Um, the first thing I want to know about is what does title do in a real estate transaction? A lot of people never heard of title until it's time to buy a house. So most people are going to remember us as the person at the table. Okay. That's exp You're going to get this stack of papers that you need to sign to get a loan to buy a house. Our job is to make sure you understand what you're signing um, and just be there to answer all your questions and guide you through the closing itself. That's kind of how most people see us. Behind the scenes, we're the, we do escrow. So escrow means there's money changing hands coming from the lender. You got to pay taxes. You got to pay appraisals, whatever. It's going all over the place. We're a trusted source where all the money goes. We'll, everybody will sign, agreeing where it's going to go, and then we disperse according to, to that. And then behind that, we offer title insurance. So what we do is we guarantee that the house that you're buying, that the seller, number one, they own it, and number two, that they don't owe anybody any money. Okay. Because if, there's, if they owe somebody money, it's attached to the house, that could come back to bite even whoever owns it at the time. So what kind of uh, instances have you seen where someone owed some money, like had a lien against the house that may have came up and the title insurance had to be used? Um, mechanics liens okay. would be one. So if somebody did some work on the property, and wasn't paid, they could they could put a lien against the property. Got it. Um, it's our job to make sure that those are wiped out. Um, a lot of times, the, any, the claims that we've had to do weren't really a result of us making mistakes. They were a result of somebody before us making a mistake or somebody, quite frankly, being fraudulent. Like, I've had sellers say, I didn't sell my house. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I never sold my house. I don't know what you're talking about. Even though they signed the papers and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I just need to go to court for three days and, <laughs> and deal with that. So uh, the, the, the title insurance process will, and not only like, it's not like homeowner's insurance. Well, it yeah. is like homeowner's insurance where it will pay mm -hmm. if, if, if for some reason you do lose the house, but it covers defense costs. Got it. So the, the attorneys are very expensive. Like it covers all the attorneys, and you get the best attorneys. You got First American behind you, right? You got the That's good. best attorneys in the country going in and fighting for you. So there are cases where, let's say, someone got solar panels or whatever put on the house, and there was a lien against the house that may have not shown up in the beginning. And let's say the new homeowners in the house, and all of a sudden the the uh, the solar company is like, hey, we see that the previous owner sold the house. We want our, our fifty grand, twenty grand right now. Or are we taking this house? It could happen. Okay. It, 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 I mean, they, I don't think they could take the house. Okay. They, I, I don't know how it works. They could demand that money for okay. sure. Um, okay. And it would, it would. Luckily, we've never seen that. We've never made that mistake. Got it. But we do see things like um, home equity lines of credit. Got it. That may not have been closed properly. Mm. But people, um, pe they'll, they'll pay the money back and they mm -hmm. think it's closed. Okay. It's actually not. You have to say you're closing it and get a release and get the release oh, wow. recorded. A lot of times, um, people won't record that release. So we have to make sure that, that was, that's done before we transfer property. So with the home equity loan, um, so is that recorded on the title when it, someone takes the loan out? It is, it oh, is. Wow. Okay. So what's recorded is your deed yeah. or your title. You can call it title. Like when you're buying a car, you get title, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Your deed is your title. You know, that gets recorded first. Then next, if you borrowed any money, okay. that bank's deed of trust. Some people call it a mortgage, but in Maryland, it's a deed of trust. Got that it. gets recorded. And then home equity line of credit is basically a loan behind that. Uh, that people can use, you know, to, so sometimes they'll use it to buy the house, but most times they're, they're using it to, you know, build an addition or put in a pool or fix up the bathroom or something. Make, makes sense. Ground rent. Can you explain what ground rent is? Leasehold. I've heard yeah. it a few different ways. Yeah. But they've ruined a few deals of mine before. Yeah, they'll ruin your deal. You gotta, you gotta do, um, you gotta do preliminary review because unfortunately a lot of title companies in the country don't understand how it works. Yeah. So if you refinanced and like some title company from Ohio did it, they don't know. They just put a regular deed in. Oh wow! It'll, it it can mess your deal up. Um, ground rent was a great idea, like in the eighteen hundreds. Yeah. When they came up with it, it was a way of making home ownership affordable because you would basically rent the ground permanently and, and have the money to build the house. But now uh, it doesn't. It kind of gets in the way. It's a small amount. These things are perpetual. They're usually like, you know, two hundred fifty bucks to do, um, you know, twice a year. For a year. Okay. 
sometimes sometimes we don't even know who the ground rent holder is. They're so old. Oh wow! But we just, we have to just acknowledge that it exists. Right. And if that person ever shows up, they're allowed to they're allowed to ask for three years of it back. And we've seen that happen on, on very rare occasions. Okay. Um, but it's one of those things like you can't you can't make any new ones in Maryland. Oh, so it's over. I, I believe it's over. <laughs> I believe it's over. They 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 try to change that. Some of, some new developments came in and and, and did it, and uh, they stepped in. I, th- I think they're still fighting this one. So at the, with, at the time you're watching this, you know <laughs> it may be back. But right now, I believe I believe they put the kibosh on it. Is that something? If the homeowner at the time they're getting the house with ground rent, is it possible for them to purchase the land and the home at the same time? Like redeem the ground rent? Yes, you can redeem the ground rent. Okay. And if you do redeem the ground rent, um, that, that's a very valuable thing. I, I always say, you know, we'll do like a preliminary review on a listing. If we find that it's been redeemed, you should promote that. So you, everybody else in this neighborhood probably has that annual payment. Yeah. You don't. So that makes your ground like that much more valuable. Exactly. Okay, so you said that we should do a preliminary check before we do a, take a new listing, especially in Baltimore City. What did you mean by that? Well, it's important to, to know what's on record. Okay. Right. Um, a lot of sellers get confused about things. Some sometimes they bought it so long ago they don't remember. And if and if you list something incorrectly, um, it could create a situation. For example, ground rent. Yeah. If, if if you list a property as fee simple, which basically means no ground rent, mm-hmm. but it has ground rent, it's leasehold, it has ground rent. You could you have a contract for a fee simple property. You either have to redeem the ground rent for that buyer. Or, or you've created an out in the contract, yeah, which is which is bad, and um, you know, no one likes voidable contracts. Nobody <laughs> likes a voidable contract, and and it's important for for you know, realtors to work with title companies that know how to do this stuff, and that will do the preliminary review to just keep everybody out of trouble, right? So you guys have a system in place to help realtors uh, when they're trying to do preliminary checks. We do absolutely, absolutely. Okay, that's good. That's good to and know. It's one of those things that every time something goes wrong on a on a file. We always step back and say, what could I have done? What could I have mm-hmm. done to solve this? And the answer is almost always, if I had known about it sooner, I could take care of it.